Hi, welcome to the Beagle Eisen soap opera. I am Annika and I am doing a solo update today. Um, we have some pretty big news again. Uh, I just came back from the road trip to see the eclipse in Texas, except that I went to go see it in Arkansas. Um, we arrived at the Eclipse Festival in Texas, the Texas Eclipse Festival, as it is called. And it was the worst organized festival I have ever been to in my life. Um, <laughs> had a horrible time going through security, which has never happened to me before. I had a bunch of my stuff taken and thrown away for absolutely ridiculous reasons. Um, there was a mix-up where they had the wrong list of prohibited items and ended up taking away people's stuff that was actually not prohibited. Um, and I got caught up in that. So it was incredibly frustrating. And then we spent an hour plus driving around in circles being misdirected by staff because nobody knew where anything was. And it took us I think we arrived at one o'clock in the afternoon and it took us until 9 p.m. to have our campsite with our tents set up because it took that long for anybody to figure out where anything was and how anything worked. And um, it was so chaotic that we actually left and we didn't stay for the event. Um, it was Friday night, I couldn't sleep. I just had this terrible feeling that I shouldn't be here, that this is just not gonna get better. And so on Saturday morning, well, actually in the middle of the night, I, I called Aaron at 2 a.m. I was like, I don't wanna be here. And we talked it through and I packed up all of our gear while my best friend was sleeping in the tent next to me and just packed up all of our stuff, hiked it out to the car, spent all night basically going back and forth from the campsite to the car and loading it up. And then Saturday morning we left and we drove up to Arkansas and ended up having a fantastic experience. It was so perfect. Oh, and the Eclipse Festival ended up getting evacuated anyways, right before the eclipse. So <laughs> um, we had a fantastic time in Arkansas, saw the eclipse in an abandoned soccer field. So there were no floodlights, there was hardly any people. Um, we had a beautiful, peaceful nature spot and it was, it was amazing, it was incredible. And then on our way back, on our last day of the road trip, we met up with Aaron in Tennessee to go to a water park. And on the drive up to Tennessee, Aaron got a phone call from our landlord telling us that he needs our spot for a family member and that we need to move by June 1st. So that was, uh, that was a shock, obviously. Um, there were a lot of emotions flying around and our reunion after not seeing each other was overshadowed by this news. Um, to add to it, Aaron had just started renting a room down the street from where, um, to, from where the camper and our cats and I am. Uh, so that way we could try out basically dating each other, going on dates, spending time together, but having our separate places to retreat to. But now it turns out that I can't stay here at the place that I am I was going to be staying in with the cats. And then uh, it looks like the room that Aaron rented might also not be working out uh, for him because of allergies. And we basically found ourselves very, very suddenly in the state of upheaval. And uh, well, long story short, um, we decided to move back to Philadelphia. Well, back for Aaron, uh, first time for me, um, because Aaron does own a house in Philadelphia. And the idea was that I would move into a house, into the house, into one of the rooms. Um, but when we talked to one of the renters and Aaron gave notice, um, you know, saying that we had need of the room ourselves. Um, another one of the renters decided that he didn't want to live in the house if I was moving in. So he's also moving out. So now there's going to be two rooms and Aaron and I are going to 
try living in the same house but in separate rooms <laughs> so <laughs> that's the next part of our adventure and i am i am feeling really sad to leave this place i mean as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous here spring has sprung it's so fantastic the North Carolina mountains are one of the most incredible places I've ever lived in. So I'm very sad to leave this. I'm also very excited to live in a house. I'm kind of over camper living at this point. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh goodness. The other day we bumped the, the oven because it's such a narrow space and I hit it with my bag and ended up turning the propane on and uh, thankfully noticed that as, at the last moment before I left the camper, the, the propane smell, otherwise it would have been an absolute disaster. So it's just, the stakes just feel really high living in such tight quarters and living in a camper in an area that does get pretty high winds sometimes. I'm just really excited to live in a house and have a proper kitchen. <laughs> where I can make kimchi and uh, yogurt <laughs> and bake bread. So a part of me is also extremely excited to move into a house and it just happened so fast. It was just an idea and then it just kind of happened really fast. And if you've read the story of how we first met, met um, Aaron and I, the first thing Aaron asked me on our last day at the retreat was, so do you want to move to Philadelphia? And I immediately, immediately said no. <laughs> not because of him, but because I did not want to move to a big city. And so I asked Aaron, I think yesterday or two days ago, why don't you ask me the question again? So he did. And this time I said yes. Because over the past two years, what's changed is that I basically want to be where Aaron is and Aaron has a house in Philadelphia and that means I want to be in Philadelphia. So <laughs> that's the short of it. Um, yeah, that's, that's our update right now and we'll be busy for the next six weeks packing our stuff, getting things ready for this big move and transition and then we'll, we'll see what the future brings. Thanks for checking in and uh, listening to the Beagle Eisen soap opera.